Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be playing with uh, stencils and alcohol inks on the jelly plate. Uh, but before we get to that, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing. I reached a thousand subscribers and I've been trying to think what can I do for a giveaway. And I was looking around my room and I actually saw these stencils that I hadn't used yet. And I thought, well, what I could do for a giveaway is um, for people, anybody that leaves a comment down below in today's video, I can uh, enter you in a draw, a random draw uh, of the comments to win uh, a package of these stencils, which I'll plan to have delivered to you directly from Amazon if you're in Canada or the US. Um, I'm not sure what's available um, in the UK. We could maybe... Uh, see if there's alternates and um, any other countries we can figure it out as we go um, but um, if you already have these stencils uh, I could substitute it for maybe a package of painty papers and jelly prints if you like so if you want to enter in the giveaway please leave a comment below this isn't subsidized by YouTube um, and all those YouTube rules that I'm supposed to say and I just wanted to give a, a shout out to all my subscribers and how much I appreciate you and um, how much fun you make it uh, for me to make videos. Um, if you do win, um, you can either uh, direct message me on Instagram with your address. Um, if you're not on Instagram, just write in the comments that you're not on Instagram and of the, of the next, of the draw video. And what I will do is I will um, send you my email um, as a private message, I think, as a private comment. I think that would work and um, we can get in touch through email. So, um, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to pull out the jelly plate. Um, a lot of the techniques I'm using today, I got inspired by um, Bridget Koopson. Um, some are from her, some are just random thoughts I had and just I'm just going to play today and um, hopefully come up with some interesting uh, prints. So here's my jelly plate, and I think we'll start with this stencil. Um, it would be great if you had a round jelly plate with these stencils. I don't have a round jelly plate, so I'm just going to use it in the center. I'll probably just fill up most of the page, and you you know you can always trim your print after if you want to keep it in a circle, or maybe uh, we'll like what's around it. Um, I don't know. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a bunch of alcohol ink on the surface of the jelly plate. And I'm just going to be kind of random. And then I'm just going to brayer those that around. Put a little bit more. Also add a bit of um, just kind of a bit of 91% alcohol to help it spread a bit more. And I could actually use my bigger brayer, but I think I'll use the bigger one next time. All right, so I'm just rolling off to the sides. So I'm just put my jelly, my um, print on, and I'm going to give it. Um, a roll to suction it down. You can see the air bubbles there. So when you suction down, it's going to help keep the um, ink from just kind of being blobby. All right, so I'm going to add some sort of contrasting colors in those spaces. Put some yellow. Yellow, lay that around. A little bit more. There's orange. I want it really colorful. So this I'll just kind of. Throw on randomly, a bit more of the yellow. And then 
and uh, let that dry. And then after you dry, you pull the stencil off and then you pick it up with some um, acrylic paint. Um, what we could do on the edges is to make some designs there with um, some alcohol lift ink, these sort of little loopies. These aren't going to be perfect, but that's okay. And I'm just stamping that off on the side. I'll show you that. Ooh, paper in a second. So that's lifting up. So if you had a round plate, I mean, you wouldn't have to kind of do this little extra step. But that's just kind of fun. I'll just show you the paper that I just printed it off. Stamped it off on that paper. Now, the other thing um, I've done before, because I don't like wasting the alcohol ink, it's not uh, inexpensive. So there's all this fun ink left on here. I'll put some paper under it first, like that. And then I just spray it with some spray-on rubbing alcohol. Um, I've heard people say that you shouldn't spray alcohol, but I think that the problem is people spraying the um, blending solution because uh, Tim Holtz's blending solution actually has resin in it, and you don't want to inhale that. I don't want to inhale alcohol either, but um, you know, I bought this at the pharmacy. Obviously, you can spray it on cuts, so I think I can spray it on a stencil. So. I'm gonna just spray that on here and it's gonna reactivate alcohol. And I'm just gonna put this on top. And I've done this before with even tissue paper. So we can do that next. So there we have uh, the print of the actual stencil. And then we still have some stuff left on here, so you can use, um, I'll just use a baby wipe. And I'll put some 91% um, alcohol on my baby wipe. And then I'm just gonna just rub around. And it cleans the stencil. This is um, calligraphy paper I have under here. Some browns, and then the purple from the other side went down there too. So what we could do is we could maybe overlap that here, and then we could get some of that purple. Meanwhile, this is um, drying a little bit more. A little interesting, you could use that in a collage. We'll see how it looks when it dries. So, this is ready. I'll just use some uh, white craft paint and some linen textured uh, cream colored paper. And then you just roll it on as you normally would. So it's been really fun getting to know people uh, through YouTube. I, I never thought when I started uh, in my first YouTube chat room, art now art stream, um, it was on Dee Dee Willingham's, 
I never thought I would start streaming. I never thought I would get to know so many people, some interesting people, some fun people. Um, led me to a lot of fun channels to follow as well. All right. So this looks a lot better once we pulled it. I think that's kind of pretty. You can see here I use the lift off uh, ink. So that's kind of neat. All right, let's do another one, this one. Now this time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, sprinkle on some gold leaf. And um, this is a technique I saw, uh, I think the first time I saw it was Patty Tolly Parish. And um, you can get actually it's imitation leaf. It's not, I'm sure it's not real. You can get copper, gold, silver. These are from, they could be from HomeSense. Um, they might be from the dollar store. So you can use those and you just, you know, crinkle them on. I'll show you, I'll do this one here in a little bit. So it comes in the leaf. Um, this is some remnants from one before. And you can just kind of sprinkle it. Break it up, sprinkle it around, and then I'm going to actually use, this is a multicolored one, and this will stay on, um, we'll probably be getting little bits of this for the rest of our session because it doesn't all come off at once, but it's kind of cool. So just put, I'm just sort of putting it in the center area where that circle is going to be. So just put a little bit on there. So we'll see what that does. All right, so now we're going to do a similar thing. We're going to use um, some inks. Let's try, I do like these alcohol pearl uh, inks. You do have to shake them. It settles on the bottom. A little ball there. And let's get out. Let's do the pink and the silver. That might be kind of cool. This is an alloy. This is a pearl. I don't know if I've actually used the silver yet. All right, so I'm just going to randomly put this on. of green that was the oh, it's citrus and this one is meadow prairie and then I'm gonna just use a little bit of this spread it a bit more of this prairie I know that was citrus a bit of the prairie and how about, let's do just a touch of some blue. This one is Sailboat. I'm just gonna put some of that gold leaf back on the plate there. One of the things I was curious about was how would alcohol ink, would it um, gather around some die cuts? So I cut out um, some bees and some butterflies and some dragonflies. And I cut them out in a uh, pearlescent type of uh, paper, thinking maybe that won't stick so much. So I'll just put some on each corner, just some blue around. Let's see what happens. I haven't done this before. This is a total oh, experiment, which I think just failed. But you don't know if you don't try. 
and I can always just cut out the circle if I want to. green around there. Try to do, I'm going to go really lightly. Just kind of smoosh it around the sides here. Okay, so let that settle. While those are drying, I think this is already dry, so I'm going to pull that up. And let's Let's just move this over. And this time, let's put it on some tracing paper, like so. And I'm going to pick it up with this uh, tissue paper. Okay, so I'm going to spray that. I think my hands are going to be a bit of a mess after this. And when I did this, I have done this before, and when I did it before, it sort of stuck to it. So I'm going to spray it just with the alcohol before I lift it up. And then when that dries, we'll have a bit of an image on there. This paper towel. Quite a bit of spray on there. I'm gonna hold it down. What I might try to do is just keep using the same um, tracing paper and just layer the different stencils that we've cleaned off on there. It did colorize that kind of cool. I might be able to use those in my um, whimsical steampunk dream journal. You can see that that's kind of cool. I like how that changed the color. Let's try this uh, dreamy yellow um, Arteza. Pearlescent, I think they're called. This is, uh, we'll just use plain copy paper. And of course, you could use more than one color of paint to pick up. Mm, I feel like that might not be quite enough. Actually, let's do that. Let's use more than one color. Let's use um, purple on the top, just for fun. We've got purple, um, electric plum purple, pearlescent, and they're kind of like a they're kind of like a color shift. So I'm just gonna do half. Not yellow. Bring it off, and then we do half. And the purple. And just a little bit of a transition there. And let's put that on, see what we get. That's the fun part about jelly plating too, is it's, um, you kind of have an idea of what you're doing, but it's it usually ends up as a surprise. Cool. See if you can catch the glimmer from the um, pearlescent and the silver, and also from the paint. Let's do that. Let's make a square.
and transfer. Instead of stamping off, maybe I'll stamp onto other parts that don't have much ink on them. So let's try that. So do that and then like that. Is that doing anything? Yeah, it's a little bit there. That. See here the swirls. And then a little bit got transferred. Not a lot, but enough to give a bit of color to the white spaces. Here's a review of the prints that I did this session and some of the um, cleanup prints as well. I really like these little die cut uh, colored bees. And uh, I didn't like that one, so I didn't bother showing it. This is one of my favorites. I love the colors there. And here's that tracing paper. And the nice thing is you could just rip off pieces of it because it's alcohol ink, it's permanent. So um, you can use it in collage. This is an interesting one. I didn't show this one. It was a little bit too blobby, but um, it was fun. And here's the rose. And I did two versions of this last one, which I only showed uh, one of them. So thank you so much for watching. And if you want to be entered in the uh, random draw giveaway, I appreciate it. Thank you to my subscribers and also thank you to those that uh, don't subscribe. I really appreciate you watching the, my videos and taking the time and I hope you guys enjoyed this one and um, have a great day and go create.